when I had the opportunity to move to working with DB2 on LUW, actually the first one I ever worked on was on a Windows server, and they needed someone who knew DB2. Since I knew DB2 on ZOS, I'd worked on it a number of years, they asked me to work on DB2 on Windows at that time. The DB2 part was really easy. When I transitioned from DB2 Z to DB2 LUW, what I immediately noticed was the thing that was the same pretty much was the SQL and the DDL. And learning it was a pretty easy since I'd already worked with some other DBMSs, the transition was pretty easy. As soon as I picked up some basic command skills at the operating system level and uh, scripting skills, then the transition went a lot easier for me. So I did some work for a large insurance company in the UK who were also moving to distributed DB2 for the first time. Um, and I saw firsthand how easy it is to pick that up with a, a mainframe DB2 background. Before we made a final decision, we benchmarked some of the key database management systems that includes Oracle, SQL Server, and DB2. Uh, we ended up choosing DB2 for several reasons. One was reliability, second was performance, and perhaps the most important factor was ease of use. Uh, so just a few weeks ago, I was working with a customer who's actually an uh, insurance broker. Uh, again, using DB2 for the first time, uh, they had uh, internal skills within uh, the Oracle database but have never used DBT before uh, and I was able to sit down and take them through the basics of administering uh, the product and installing the product very quickly. D DB2 is a simple platform to learn. Um, it's very intuitive and one of the other advantage of it is it's, uh, it seamlessly uh, goes across all platforms. Uh, in terms of uh, staff, they love it, it's easy, it's, um, um, it integrates well easier than uh, Oracle. It's an almost self-managing system. So there's a wide variety of um, facilities that are available to, to DB2 users to help them to get skilled in the, in the marketplace. So there's obviously IBM Education itself, which is uh, very good and provides the, the basics in terms of how the product operates. Uh, and that's very valuable. You need to understand the basics. But on top of that, you really need uh, practical experience in what really works and, and doesn't work out in the, in the marketplace. And that's where organizations such as iDUG can be absolutely great. Um, iDUG, the International DB2 User Group, is a, uh, it, it's a, a user group that's run by users for users. And it's really about people sharing their practical experiences with a product, uh, what they've found that really works well, doesn't work so well, tips and, and tricks. Um, and that's really what iDUG's mission is, to take that practical information and help to use DB2 in new and different ways.